Well, Jason, I think in the small analog uh, console market, mm. Mackie would have to be very much uh, amidst the head of, if not at the head of the pack. There's certainly mm. a, a lot of a lot of cheap overseas manufacturers and, and very few reputable ones, yeah. uh, of which Mackie is one. Yeah, and um, for a very long time, decades in fact, they have been, uh, if you're going to find one in a professional situation, one of the brands you're going to see there. And in fact, you know, in, in my early career, I'd mixed shows, whether it be like a low budget theatre show or a kind of a smaller rock and roll show in a small venue on yeah, something you, you, very much like this. You walked in today and saw this and got all nostalgic. I did, I did. It was like, oh, it's the 90s. This is, of course, the Pro mm. FX, uh 22 V2. Mm. Tell us more. Okay, so there's a there's a range of sizes uh, in the range, but they've all got very, very similar specs. So you've got um, a... Uh, High pass filter again, so this is what separates the the sort of the pro level small format from uh, not. And pro. I like I like that they've gone for 100 hertz. Yeah. A lot of people use 80, which yeah, is not, not high quite enough. high no. enough to get rid of the plosives that it's you're not. trying to use the filter to yeah. eliminate. And then yeah, fairly standard EQ section with sweepable mid, and uh, you've got two auxes and an effects bus pan, four subgroups, and a master. So pretty standard stuff. The good old fashioned seven band graphic EQ. Yep, yep. Uh, and you can, you can with one button assign that into your monitor send or your main send. Mm. Um, your, uh, there's an internal effects processor, it's the ready effects I think it's called. Mm. Um, and those effects all sound pretty believable. If you needed different effects for some reason, mm. you can actually get an output of the effects send as well. So it's not like that's just limited to the internal processor. Yeah, other pro features include the insert points on the channels um, and yes it's got that you know lower end pro feel to it and you know it's reassuringly you know solid it's solid well. it's I not like it. unduly heavy and but, Mackie um, have earned their reputation for for liability yeah, yeah and I mean like if we if we think back to the last Mackie console we reviewed we dropped it on the ground and jumped on it a few times yeah. and it survived <coughs> so uh, I don't think build quality is a question I do question the wisdom of a global phantom power button on a 16 preamp console yeah. <coughs> that should be in banks or individual yeah. I like the USB interface 2x2 two two, and yep. you can either route that just to a tape return or you can route it to the last of the stereo channels. Look, mm -hmm. versatile little console. Sounds yep. reasonably good. Yep. Yep. And um, it's exactly what you'd expect from Mackie. It's good, it's professional, it's reliable, it does pretty much everything you want, and you know it's going to last. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching Gearbox. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking below. We'll see you next time.